Hey guys, it's Alicia with Young 40 Mom Crafts. Hope you guys are having a great Sunday afternoon. Hope you had a great week. Um, if you're new to my channel, thank you for coming to see me. And uh, if you're already a subscriber, thank you for coming back. Um, hopefully I'll have some decent content for you. Um, first thing I want to address is I only had one of the three winners come forward from last month's contest or giveaway. Um, hopefully this next giveaway will be um, <laughs> will be better. If you guys have not entered the contest, I will leave the links below. They are still open. It says still open. Um, when I close something, I do put in parentheses closed. I had somebody comment on one that I had already had written down closed. Um, and unfortunately, you cannot be entered. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, so the ones for uh, the month of August are still going strong. I have three. I have, if, of course, you guys probably already know, those of you who have entered, um, one for crochet, one for cross stitch, and or crochet knit, one for cross stitch, and one for um, a different craft. I think this one is about bows. Yeah, I think this one's about bows. I, I'm not over there. I can't see. Oh, yes, bows, because I'm giving away with the bows, you get three spools of ribbon. Um, with the yarn one, it is... Um, uh, crochet thread you get two spools of cro crochet thread and you get a book and then with the cross stitch it is uh, I believe it's two no it's one cross stitch pattern and then you get the fabric to go with it anyway I'll leave those in the link below if you guys ever need to contact me if you have one um, I will leave my uh, email address young 40 mom at gmail.com I will leave that below as well um, I am now on TikTok. Um, I have been on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook forever. Um, yeah, but anyway, so um, I'm going to insert the clip at the end of this on the, um, actually, I'll just, I'll just put it right here. All right, guys, partial video. This is not part of my haul, but these two tubs full of yarn are, look at that, full. I mean, those are like huge tubs friend of mine was getting rid of her stash she was cleaning out her closet 20 bucks now she's a smoker but uh, the majority of it has aired itself out and you can't smell the smoke in most of it you can on the ones that are down underneath that I've gone through right now but as I'm using them um, it the smells going away so I'm gonna go I wanted to film this real quick before I put this tub back in my craft room because I'm working out of this tub so I'll be right back Well, I think I'll be right back. I'm trying to stop the video. It won't let me. Oh, good grief. It still won't let me. All right. That was a, a $20 yarn haul I got from a friend of mine. Um, and also, too, in the process, I am in the middle of making stuff. So I'm going to show you what I'm working on and what I'm working with. Um... I am making a continuous granny square. Every time I do one of these, I do it differently <laughs> because I change the stitching around every time. Like on this one, um, I'm using baby colors. Let's see if I can, I think that light's going to be too bright behind me. So I started out with the, I'm using uh, two different skeins. Well, not really two skeins because I'm, I'm actually putting two threads together for one. To make it a four ply so on this one let's see if i can show you where it starts to continue okay so it starts here and it goes around and then it comes up this way and then it goes around and then you can see here's the baby blue that i'm using it comes up and goes around and then it's a continuous going around now um krista at the secret yarnery she has a uh, pattern on how she does hers um I do mine differently every time. I do like a half double and just play with it to see if it till it looks good because each color that I use every time I do one of these, it looks different and I want it to look uniform. So with this one, I am using a Red Heart Super Saver. It's in a baby blue. Um, and then I started out with a this variegated one. It didn't have a band on it. This is from that haul that I, I purchased 
Um, it doesn't have a band on it, but it is a, a three, uh, possibly a two, but I think it's more on the three side. And because the Super Saver is on a four, I wanted to add to it. So add to it, I had a tiny ball of two yellow, a three yellow, and then I had a tiny ball of three uh, multicolored that was not bumpy like this. It was just a straight color. I saw I used that up and added it to it. Um, and now I've added with that multi bumpy, um, I've added this um, Karen Petite Dazzle Air. And you can't see it, but it's actually, yeah, you can barely see it. It's got like multicolors, but it's very faint. And it's real, it's kind of sparkly. It's got a, that's why it's called Dazzle. This one, I can tell you, um, looks like she got it on clearance for 88 cents. But it's called Sunrise. So I'm going to use that till it wears out. And then um, once I run out of this one, I'll add another color to it. So it'll continuously be two strands of two or three weight to go with the bulk of the um, granny squirt blanket. Now, uh, like I said, I, I changed them around a lot. So on this one, I started out with doing a granny square and then I switched it up. You can see the stitch is different. Okay, so what I'm doing with here is um, I switched it to, this was, uh, these are all double crochets. And then after this multicolor double crochet, the baby blue I did front post back post in the corners I did two double crochet chain one two double crochet and then start out front post back post and did it all the way around I made sure that whatever corner I ended it on I mimicked like on this one it was back post two double crochet chain one two but double crochet back post and then that way the corners were uniformed and they looked the same then with the multicolored, I went back and did, I didn't do the front post, back post. I just did the double crochet. And then with the light blue, front post, back post, double crochet, front post, back post, double crochet. And then you can see I'm on my multicolored row. It's nothing but double crochet. Then I'll come back with the uh, light blue and do front post, back post. But this is the effect that it's giving. I think it's really, it's turning out really pretty. I like the, the texture on it. So, and it is the old red heart. And as you know, the old red heart is very um, stiff. It's very stiff. Um, so I may end up washing this one because even though most of the smoke smell is gone, um, it's still kind of faint. So I'm thinking I'm going to, because it's stiff, I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and wash it. And that will also fluff this out more, I think. Um, this one is acrylic and nylon, which is the reason why it's got that shimmery dazzle look. Anyway, so that's one of the things I'm working on. Um, I will show you the progress that I've done on the couch cushion cover. And also I looked at, it's Happy Berry Crochet. Um, I'll try to leave the link below for her video on how to do it. I went, I extended it further than her video shows, but this is the other thing that I decided to make. I'm going to block it off. I've already got two of them made. It uses four colors. I think it's really pretty. I think she only goes to where it's like a semi-square so you can join them and they're like circular squares. Um, she said you can, can keep going. This has got to where I've got, when you start a new row, you do 15 you do two double crochet and then I've got 15 single crochets and then two double crochet and that's where I ended was with 15 in between if you watch her pattern you'll know what she's talking about what she starts out with is a this hole's actually bigger I've done I've done two of them that are very similar um and I'm gonna like I said I'm gonna block them off I'm going to square them out and make a probably a, a blanket, a patchwork blanket with it. I've got two done. Again, this is from that yarn that I acquired for the $20. I'm going to end up making two blankets with it. I'm going to do different colors. This one's going to be all different shades of blues and greens with a cream in between. And yeah, that one turned out really funky looking how I started it and it's finishing. This has got, this is like a variegated 
blue jean color I thought was really pretty but anyway so that's that's the other thing that I'm working on I'm working on getting some of these done so there's two um, I'm thinking I might do eight of them to do a, a square blanket I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with these yet I just knew I'm gonna make some more of these probably after I get through filming this as well as work on my granite score blanket um, I have also that one of these um, that I have is full of like eyelash yarn and fun fur and um, dazzling yarn with like sparkles in it for Christmas so I'm going to um, here's another one of those little dazzles I've got back up finish this blanket I'm going to probably use those for borders I don't know what I'm gonna do with those yet um, one of the tubs I have sectioned out is nothing but the uh, is a uh, four ply the tub that I'm working on now is mostly um, baby yarn and bulky yarn so I've got the bulky set aside I don't know what I'm going to do with that one yet I have also been working on again this is from the acquisition um, this is a wool yarn it's very stiff I am in the process of creating a a brim for a for a hat um, I will show you next week probably my um, progression on that one but it's 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 blue but it's got like um oh there it is you can see the little pink shades of pink in between it's kind of like little bumpies of pink but I'm thinking it didn't have a band on it it came this way in the ball so I'm thinking it's it's got oh it's if it's not 100% wool it's got wool in it so my guess is um first time you wash it it's going to probably shrink unless you hand wash it um, and then, of course, if you dry it, it's going to felt. It will felt out. So I'm going to make it kind of big so that um, I can experiment washing with it and see what happens. I'll show you guys once I do what's going to happen with that. I have not worked on my big sweater anymore. Um, it's just been too hot. And that is a very hot sweater to be working on. Um, but yeah, oh yeah, the circle crochet. Um, again, that was Happy Berry Crochets. It's called the Squirrely continuous granny square I think is the name of it but like I said I'll try to leave the link below but if I don't just go to happy berry crochet she's got that in there she's got some great videos you guys need to go check her out if you don't already subscribe to her channel um we do not correspond she is not one of my um subscribers um she's one of those that's too big for me I'm a little squirt I don't know um and little squirts don't get followed by big squirts anyway so i also had this yarn that i acquired i got it for it was really 5.49 i got it for a dollar 37 on clearance at hobby lobby it's yarn b chloe um you guys have probably seen this in um, my acquisitions that i've acquired with um my hauls but it's called lace wing fields and it's very busy looking it's pretty but it's very busy looking i've made a hat gloves and something else i can't remember um, a hat and the gloves and I think I've made a I think I made a um, what do you call it a um, oh shoot what do you call those things where that where it's open at the top with the elastic <sighs> messy bun hat I made a messy bun hat so now I'm working on this hat I'm doing the front post back post I started out with the single crochet um, I had a pattern book that I was following and I did not like the way it was it had you make two separate pieces and I thought well and it was a really old pattern so I thought well they probably didn't realize that they could put it all together at once with the front post back post as the ribbing so that's what I've decided to do I just I did what they told me to do um, it said measure it six to eight inches across depending on how big your head is um, and instead of making the separate piece and attaching it, I just decided to incorporate it as I go. Um, and it seems to be, seems to be turning out okay so far. I think it's going to be good. Of course, I've got a clip in my hair. It would go further back. But um, I'm going to keep working on it with the ribbing. And I think I might put 
I might put some fun fur on the bottom of it. I don't know. I'm going to start adding fun fur to my stuff just so that I could get it more. Um, so I can use it up, but also that'll make my stuff more fun. I don't know yet. We'll see. And this is mine, so it don't, it don't smell like smoke. Anyway. All right. So there's that that I'm working on. Um, I was trying to think of what else. Oh, yeah. So that's all I'm going to show you with me facing the camera. Um, I will show you the pieces that I have worked on as far as, like, the couch cushion. I haven't really worked on much during the week. Excuse me. Because the majority of my time has been balling up some of these um, individual pieces of yarn that I found of hers. Like this one. If I can get it to focus. No. Alright. And then I've got... I'm going to let it air out. But there's a kit in here that I may end up doing um, in one of my giveaways. I'll show it to you. And it is called Made by Me. Um, it looks like it's either Family Dollar or Dollar Dollar Tree. I mean, not Dollar Tree. Family Dollar or Dollar General. Um, it's called In the Loop. It's called My Yarn Kit. It includes two pieces or two two skeins of 75 gram yarn balls, three patterns, um, two piece knitting needles, and a one set pom-pom or tassel maker which I paid six bucks for it so that may end up in a giveaway because I don't knit and I have more than I need and as far as yarn goes um, but it does show you how to make a cable scarf a ribbed hat or uh, three pairs you can either make one scarf or one hat or three pairs of fingerless gloves isn't that cool so, yeah, so I'm thinking I might do that in a giveaway. Like I said, I have no need for it, and it was in there. So, um, she was generous to give me such a fantastic deal on this. So, I'm going to pass along the savings to you guys um, and do that as one of my giveaways in the near future. Um, also in here has some really cool, I love this pipsqueak yarn. It's so nice. It's Burnett pipsqueak. I don't know where she got it. A lot of this yarn is, like, really old. Um, she got it for 75 cents on clearance somewhere. And these are normally like between $3.99 and $5.99, depending on where you get it. But it's that Burnett Pipsqueak. Isn't that pretty? That's so soft, too. It's so soft. It's still got that smoky smell, but still, it's so pretty. Um, she kept a lot of stuff in baggies. And, um, so yeah, so thank you, Miss Kathy. If you're watching me, I appreciate it. I am making major, major use of it. Um, already got three projects started. <laughs> I've got one tub. I've got the little tub here. So there's, there's, that's the little, wait, that's the little tub. Um, and then I've got a tub about that size, about piled this high, this much higher in the back craft room. And then this one, this is mine from my Michael's haul. This is from my Michael's haul. Well, there's my blanket for the couch. I'll show you that later. But, this is what I was talking about. So there's more of that little bumpy yarn, but I think I'm going to save it for something else. And then, and this is some odd yarn that I got from her. Um, it's very, I, I can't explain it. It's, um, what do you call it? It's, it's different... Oh, shoot. What do you call that when it's different sizes throughout? It's a very odd yarn. I may end up using that in my granny squirrel blanket. Anyway, there's a hair attached. But there's a lot of this, like, dazzle yarn. Isn't that pretty? Ah. And then a lot of this funky faux fur. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. Funky faux fur yarn. This one's called Boa by Burnett. But anyway, so I'll keep you guys posted. Here's some more little funky bumpy yarn, too. <laughs> I'm thinking a lot of this came from Big Lots. Big Lots doesn't carry yarn anymore. This is called the Moda D Flip. I've used the Moda D before, but not the Flip. I've used the, um, like the, it's like a, a furry pink you guys have seen me use, or a fuchsia. I've got like three or four different shades of pink or purples with it. But this one, it's very similar to this. But yeah, so I'm going to 
trying to figure out what I'm going to use with that. Um, I'm going to work on my blanket. It looks like a blanket, but it's my couch cushion cover. Um, but yeah, so I'm incorporating some of my stuff, but mostly I'm using up the stuff that I got from her. But anyway, so I will see you guys later. I'm going to um, end this with the couch cushion update, and that will be it for today. So I hope you guys have a great weekend, um, and I will talk to you shortly. All right, guys, I decided to film the rest of this in front of my ring light so that you could see better than having that light behind me. Okay, so... Here is the, I completed the side panel. This is for the couch cushion. It is 48 inches long. So that's one side. Um, I am in the process of making the back side, that's the front, the side part of the cushion. Um, where did you go? I just had it here it is so I've started this one and I've got a long ways to go on it um, it's boring that's why I've started other new stuff it's only do half double crochets that's it now to make things more interesting I decided to change up the top and bottom cushions I think what I'm gonna do is maybe make the one side completely black or maybe just change up the colors. I know that I've already decided and have already changed one side that I started. Now this has to be, I forget how many inches across it was, I actually measured it, but here is the beginning of the top part of the cushion that the side panels are going to be attached to. I'm gonna make two sides a top, a bottom, and then a connector piece so that it'll slide onto the couch cushion. So here is the top or the bottom. I'm not sure which I'm going to do yet, but I've added some red to it. You see? Ah. Okay, so here I did. I did a red, and I thought, well, that's awfully bright. So, and I didn't frog it because I was already like down to here. So I thought, I'm not going to frog all that out. So I decided to leave a bit. A dark a deep red but the next three rounds that I made see what I did I just added it to the black rather than have it by itself I added it to the black so on this side I'm gonna have that's my air fryer on this side I decided to have the black and red and I think on the second side I'm gonna have maybe a blue uh, blue and black and this side will be red and black, and then that way I'll know when I need to flip the cushion over. Uh, and I am going to make it where all I have to do is slide it off, wash it, and slide it back on. Um, that will hold my cushion together. And I think I may go ahead and get one prepared for the other big cushion. It has three cushions on the seat. Um, two huge ones that are, it's 48 inches long in the front but the back side's a little bit longer because my cushions go like this. Um, just a little bit, they curve a little bit. So I'm, even though I'm doing, this is the front of the, this is the, what you would be looking at if you were looking at the couch. This is the back of the couch, this is the front of the couch. So this side is 48 inches. So this one's gonna be probably about, I'm gonna say about 52, I have to measure it. Um, I decided to go ahead and do the top and bottom and all the other sides that I know the measurements for. Um, it's nine inches across. This is nine inches, um, but the front was 48 inches. So I know I can go at least 48 inches into the next piece and then measure the rest and just add it. The other thing that I thought about doing instead of making a, I have to make the sides. But in order to, and I decided, I'm thinking of maybe doing the top and then keep going for the backs, I mean for the side part, the back side, the short side, and then just keep going and go ahead and 
one big connected piece all the way down the bottom. I know this has to be at least 48 inches long because that's how much my side is. Because I'm gonna end up, I'm actually gonna make it a little bit longer, I think, so that I can tuck it on the side where it slides onto it. Does that make sense? Um, so I'm thinking instead of making, you know, three separate pieces, I'm definitely doing the sides, but the three separate pieces, top, the end connector, and the bottom. Just make one big connecting piece and then just attach the side panels to it. Does that make sense? I'm, I'm thought about that and I thought, ah, I don't want to mess it up. I may just go ahead and just keep doing it just with the measurements and see what it looks like. <laughs> He's got his toy on the back side of my bed playing. <laughs> it's so funny. Anyway, so yeah. So that's what I've got. That's where we're at. I've got a lot more work to do to it because I'm not, that's not nearly 48 inches yet. Um, but like I said, I got kind of bored with it being just black. So I thought, ah, I'm going to add some color to it. So that's what I'm doing there. You've seen everything else. Um, I have not picked up my cross stitch again. I keep losing my my stitchy bug. We we got um, this is this is called crojo. If you lose your crojo, is if you use your cross stitch mojo. Um, stitchy bug is if you lose your cross stitch sticky stitchy bug. Um, I don't know what that's called. Stitchy mojo. It, it's not. It doesn't have a name, but it's stitchy bug. We call it stitchy bug us in the cross stitch community and floss tube. But um, that's what this channel actually started out as, was floss tube, was my cross stitch stuff. Because I, I make cross stitch patterns, or I did, I haven't in a while. Um, and they're up in my Etsy shop, and you can find the link below if you're interested. But I also do uh, crocheted items that I've made in my Etsy shop, but I haven't posted anything in a long time. I have eight paper boxes stuffed with stuff. I'm talking zip lined purses and stuffed animals and garments and um, fingerless gloves and hats. I mean, you guys have been seeing every time I make something, I tag it and put it in the box because my dream is to one day do a craft show. Um, I'm waiting for this pandemic to go over with because otherwise it's going to be a waste of my time, I'm sure. Uh, they have something in Charleston every year called the Cowpea Festival. And if you guys don't know what a cowpea is, that's actually um, a black eyed pea. It's also called cowpeas. But uh, he's playing behind me. Hey, hey, what are you trying to do? He's trying to get my attention. Let's see if he'll come up here and get it. Come on, get it. Get it. Go get it. Get the baby. I got it. I got the baby. You see him? <laughs> I got the baby. Get it. I don't think he wants to jump on my shoulder. Oh, I may be wrong. Got the baby. <laughs> Ramsey. The baby. Ah, 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 ah. You're gonna get it. <laughs> Normally, the Ramsey and the cats and all that stuff is on my Young 40 Mom Raw channel. Link below. <laughs> if you're interested in joining, I only have, I had 50 subscribers. I lost one. I must have been too boring. <laughs> Anything having to do with my personal life, um, I had issues with the mailman for a while there, but that's. I think is corrected. Um, cooking conversions. My idea is to take, because I have gone vegan, um, taking recipes and giving the meat version of it while I'm doing the vegan version of it. So if I'm going, I call it conversion cooking. I have not seen that on anything yet. Um, so that's, that's what I'm in the process of doing right now. Um, letting you know when to add an egg or the egg replacer, which is what I would use, or when to use the milk, and I would use the almond milk as a replacement. Um, trying to do very little oil or oil-free. Um, and like I've told you guys before, I am leaving the craft channel to the crafting and I'm leaving, leaving the personal and cooking and life stuff to the Young 40 Mom Raw. Uh, but anyway, so that's all I've got. Thank you for watching. This has been longer than I thought it was going to be. Um, I'm going to go work on the granny squares that I started, and I've got to make some more of those pinwheels that I showed you. Um, and like I said, that's Happy Berry. 
Um, I'm going to try to find the link if I can for that tutorial um, for the the it's called I think it's, what's it called squirrely continuous granny square or squirrely granny square or something like that. But anyway, you use four strands and you have to be careful because the and she tells you this too the threads get tangled up. Hopefully, I'll have some cross stitch stuff for you guys next week. Um, I think because my eyes have adjusted different over the past year um, with me reducing my blood sugars, um, it's harder for me to see up close with this eye. I, I mean, my vision has gotten so good, um, but I'll explain all that on my other channel, I, and I need to. Um, also, I'm going to do a, a video on my camera explaining about my failed gastric bypass surgery that I had. I had radical gastric bypass surgery the week after 9-11. Um, it was on 9-19, actually. <laughs> but anyway, that was uh, in the year 2001. Yeah. Yeah, that was interesting. But anyway, so if you guys are interested in checking that out, like I said, I'll leave the link below. I'd love to have you come join me. Um, like I said, I only have 49 subscribers. I am going to do a giveaway when I hit 100. It won't be craft related, but it will be an awesome giveaway. Um, in my first 100 giveaway, I've already promised I've got a Bluetooth light bulb that I keep. I have one in my, um, my lamp over here, but I, I haven't hit 100 subscribers yet. And it's going to be... You don't even have to leave a comment or anything. It's going to be anybody that is subscribed to my channel. I'm going to do a random pick for anybody that is subscribed to my channel. Because um, it's only going to be 100 people anyway at that point. If I can get to 100. Um, and thank you guys for watching my videos so that I can get my watch time up. Because I've got 1,000 subscribers here. I've had, I've had over 1,000 subscribers for several years. Um, a lot of people have left me because I don't. I didn't video for a while and so my my channel was kind of stale but you guys know I'm here every Sunday speaking of which let me tell you about the giveaways I don't know what's going on but Loretta and Blaine homemade with Loretta and Blaine are the only ones from last month's giveaway that I've heard from and y'all know last weekend I picked a new winner for the the crochet knit giveaway. I haven't heard from them. So I figure this is what I'll do. Because people are going to that channel to enter, uh, or going to those videos to see who the winner is and enter for the new contest, which is how I'm gonna start doing it. So every month there will be three videos. The first weekend of the month, it will have the winners and the new giveaway. So, I will also announce in those videos, if someone does not claim their giveaway prize, it will be more than likely be going back up. I'm not going to draw another person. We're just going to give it back up again. Um, I may end up doubling up the prize. Say for instance, that one, um, if, if the two people, because one of them was um, fake pew, Pewdie, PewDiePie underscore fake, which was fake. Um, and so then I picked another one with something, I can't even remember who the winners were anymore. I, I have to look at my list. I don't have them in here with me, I'm sorry. Um, but the cross stitch winner was, let me go look, I'll be right back. Okay, so the cross stitch winner was Akerston Annie. A-C-O-R-S-T-O-N Annie, I'll put it right here. That's who won the cross stitch giveaway for um, that I announced on the 2nd of August. And then um, Homemade, with, Homemade by Loretta and Blaine, they already got theirs. And then the PewDiePie Pie Fake, we decided that, oh, I decided <laughs> we were going to pick somebody else. And um, I can't remember who that was. You'll just have to go look at last weekend's video. I, have to, I haven't written it down and I need to. I apologize for that. But what I'm going to do is if I don't hear from people by the time the next giveaway comes around, um, and, and my e email address is so easy, it's young40mom at gmail.com, I'll put it right here, and then also it's in below, um, they have to say I'm the winner. I search by the word winner, that's how I find you. But I even went so far as I checked my spam, 
I checked my email. I scrolled up because I get a lot of YouTube notifications on there. I scrolled and I looked and um, I typed in the search that word winner and and Loretta and Blaine are the only ones that keep popping up um, for recent. I, I saved them. I look. I went back to the 1st of August. I can't find anybody. So that's what I'm going to do. If you are a winner, you have to email me and let me know so I can get it to you. If you do not email me by the time the next contest or next giveaway starts, I think I'm going to go ahead and bundle it. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and bundle it with whoever wins the next one. So if somebody doesn't come forward and I pick a new winner the next giveaway, they're going to get extra stuff. Just want to let you guys know. That's what I'm going to start doing. It's, it's just more of a headache to keep up with, if not. And if somebody from that month's winner doesn't win, those will go to the next person that wins. So, there's an opportunity that you could end up getting three months worth of stuff or more if I don't ever hear from that last person. Keep that in mind. I've got to I've got to get rid of this stuff guys I mean I could sell it but I would rather share it and give it to you guys because I know whoever enters they're gonna want to use it or else they wouldn't take the time to enter because the ones that don't want to enter um, like Christine whenever I would do uh, cro uh, cross stitch giveaways she would say you know she has enough stuff she just wanted to say you know good luck to everybody or congratulations or she just wanted to make a comment but she also lets me know hey I'm not I'm not entering the giveaway which is fine it's great um, I appreciate the support and, and her letting me know she's an amazing person I haven't heard from her in a while which I, like I said I don't do cross stitch I haven't done cross stitch like I should I should um, I'm not giving away the stuff that I'm gonna be working on I'm, I'm not giving away um, I am giving away excess or extra. In fact, I've got, I said I was going to stop this. I'm sorry. I've got one giveaway that I'm going to give. I found an extra pack of rubber stamps that are really cute. They're the, the acrylic, um, the clear, not acrylic because they're not hard. They're real soft. They're the peel off stick on the, on an acrylic block or stick it on a, a wooden block. Um, and they're really cute. I found an extra pack. It's a pack of, of rubber stamps. They're so cute. I've got, I had a duplicate and that's going to be in one of my giveaways, probably with some rubber stamps as well. Um, because I have a lot of rubber stamp stuff that I would like to share and give away. Uh, but anyway, so thank you guys for watching, participating, listening to me. <coughs> I'm choked. I don't have my drink in here. Listening to me to the end. I appreciate it. Please keep supporting my channel. I'm trying to get those watch hours up. Share if you can. Spread the love. Um, Christmas in July's Fairies was a godsend. It really helped boost my channel quite a bit. And it did for everybody else too. I found new people that I didn't even know existed. Um, and I'm thoroughly enjoying it. So, oh, there's somebody you guys need to watch. Uh, Kiwi Crocheter. K-I-W-I -I crocheter. She is precious. You guys need to go watch her. She's um, in Scotland, if I'm not mistaken. She has an accent. It's so beautiful. And I could just, I just listen to her all day. She doesn't have enough videos for me to watch all day. She's fairly new. She only had a hundred and something subscribers the last time I checked. So go check her out. Um, I'll try to leave the link to her channel below, but she is just so beautiful. Um, I wanted to guess she's probably around my age. She might be a little bit younger, um, but just listen to her accent. And um, she, she doesn't think she has a strong accent. I don't think I have a strong accent. But then again, when you <laughs> listen to certain people, they pick it up. Like I can tell when someone's a Southerner, like um, there's a lady that, that's very popular that you guys probably know who lives just maybe 30 miles up the road from me. Um, she gives away, she's a, she's a pattern designer, elderly lady, beautiful elderly lady. Um, she gives away, she has um, giveaway, every Monday she has a giveaway. Oh, I 
I cannot remember her name. Anyway. Oh, it kills me. And then I also found out that uh, Whimsical Stitches and um, the book is Whimsical Stitches. A lot of people have gotten it lately. I've got a copy of it. Um, a Menagerie of Stitches. You can find her on Instagram. I don't think she has a YouTube channel, but I found out she lives 30 miles down the road from me as well. It's really cool. I have an author in my backyard. It just amazes me. And I'm in the little town of in Tennessee. Um, they're in Chattanooga, which is a bigger city, of course. Um, so I get tickled if I know if somebody's in Chattanooga or Knoxville. Chattanooga is 30 miles down the road from me. Knoxville is only 60 miles up the road from me, so I'm down in the middle of the valley. But anyway, all right, I'm done. I'm probably going to run out of time. I hope I can get all this together and uh, get this uh, sent out to you guys. But again, thank you for watching. Bless you. If you watched my rambling all the way to the end of this channel, this is what my Young 40 Mom Raw channel is like, only without crafting. Um, please come check me out. I'd really appreciate it. Give this video a thumbs up if you like my content. It helps my algorithms. It helps people find me. Um, share if you can. If you know somebody that might be interested in, in doing these contests, something maybe that you're not interested in, they might be interested in. You never know. But anyway, so I will see you guys every Sunday. Um, next week, what have I got going on next week? I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do next week yet. But please, if you haven't entered the contest, I will leave the links below for all three of the contests that are open right now. And um, thank you for subscribing, watching, and sharing. I love you guys so much. Peace out.